by Sagittarius. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, when we are doing these readings, we do take into consideration the moon placement, the sun placement, and also other planetary placements and how they may be affecting you and others that are in your life. That does give us a good um, indicator of the energy that you are experiencing or that those around you are experiencing. Wow, cards are just wanting to come out two at a time for you this week, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, this week the moon will be full in the sign of Cancer. And Cancer is a water sign, so we can expect hidden feelings to come to the surface. And at the very least, we may be experiencing thoughts of nostalgia. And Christmas time, what a wonderful time to experience those thoughts and to process um, past memories. Sometimes we have past memories because there's something there that we still need to process. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Also, Sagittarius, this week Venus enters Sagittarius. And Venus is a planet of everything that has to do with love and passion. And so we can expect love and a passion to be on everybody's mind, but most definitely for you. Um, feelings of love, passion, and gratitude are really going to really fill you with a lot of emotion. And I'm so happy. What a wonderful time to experience passion and gratitude than during the week of Christmas. The foundation, the basis of this reading is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords reminds us that there are winners and losers. That there is victory in loss and there is loss in victory. And it is driven by the Five of Pentacles. I think this is speaking to a victory in a loss for you. You have experienced a loss. You have experienced a letdown. And you're not seeing the benefit or the upside of this loss. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading. That is very interesting for you, Sagittarius. The victory in loss. Thank you, Spirit. And let's start with your professional life, your public life. And we have this wonderful star card. And Sagittarius, I do believe you are number one or number two in all of my readings this year in receiving the star card in your readings. And the star card is really um, represents the sign of Aquarius in the tarot. And the Aquarius or the Aquarian is really about the greater good and being concerned about the greater good and really being a an humanitarian. And I really see you taking that into your public life, taking that into your career. Not only are you thinking of the good for yourself, but the good that it will bring others and the good that um, will bring, it will bring to the world as a whole. And I see the end of a struggle there's something that you have been struggling with, something that you have been working towards, and I see that coming to an end. And it's coming to an end with a beautiful new beginning, a beautiful new partnership. 
something very creative, something very wonderful that you can really focus your time, your energy, and your effort into. I really do believe at this time, Sagittarius, it's like a creative block has been lifted and you are free, finally free to create what it is that you were wanting to create. Um, for some of you, it may be a new career path. Um, for some of you, it may be a new business venture. For some of you, it may be continuing um, your education, but it is really going to allow you to be very creative. And I really, something dealing with the arts, um, dance, drawing, painting, uh, tattooing, um, something very creative, you know, maybe it could be, um, maybe you've wanted to be a beautician, um, maybe you've wanted to be a makeup artist, but I really see you having the opportunity to use that creative side and really create what it is that you are wanting to create that is going to bring beauty into your life, into the lives that those that surround you, and beauty into the greater collective good. And here we have in your home life, in your private life, new beginnings, the fool's journey, using your passion to move forward, appreciating how far you have come. And then we have the moon card, and again, I think this week that moon card is really speaking to um, hidden emotions and feelings that are going to come to the surface, um, forgotten memories that are going to be coming up for you this week that are really going to help you and really be a driving force in helping you move forward in any and all new ventures. I will say, Sagittarius, that, you know, what is the holiday season without a little drama? And if drama should arise for you this week, the best thing to do is just go with the flow. And when old feelings start to bubble to the surface, take time out to process. You have moved above the past. And the full moon this week is in your 10th house of pleasure and passion. And that full moon is really wanting you to focus on what it is that brings you pleasure. And if a situation is not bringing you pleasure, if a situation is making you uncomfortable, it is time to move beyond, time to move above that. And only give your energy to things that are going to give you pleasure. And we have this beautiful Empress card, and you do get this Empress card a lot. And the Empress is really the ultimate manifestation card. The Hermit, the, there is a light within you that is guiding your path. Take action and leave behind what is no longer serving you. Sagittarius, Spirit is really asking you to listen to your heart and trust your instinct. There's a certain amount of risk involved here. But remember, Sagittarius, risk brings reward. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you, Sagittarius. You have a very Merry Christmas.